When the old-time vaudeville comic shouted makeup, he was unceremoniously smacked in the face with a giant powder puff. Today, we take makeup much more seriously. <laughs> <laughs> During archaeological excavations, mummies were discovered wearing makeup, the Egyptian technique of enhancing eye contours with antimony, lead, and metal oxides, all toxic, lethal substances. Greek women also adorned their cheeks with a dye made from lead oxide. In 1910, Florence Nightingale, under the name Elizabeth Arden, would change the whole makeup picture, launching the vogue for cosmetics without toxic agents. Cosmetics have been in existence since the dawn of time. There are many ingredients that make up a cosmetic formula. The industry heavily uses iron oxides to color its products in a multitude of attractive tones. Before moving into fabrication, each ingredient must be carefully and accurately weighed. These raw materials are often dry, such as powder, but can also be liquid, even oil or wax. Every ingredient will have first been approved by the Quality Control Laboratory. A single formula may contain over 50 ingredients. The other essential ingredient is water. The water used in making cosmetics is first purified by an inverse osmosis system. When it meets strict company standards, it is put into a stainless steel tank. Depending on the complexity of the recipe, between 4 and 10 hours of work are needed to make up a product. Let's begin with a bubble bath recipe. A part of the recipe is prepared in an adjoining container to make certain ingredients more soluble. A stainless steel screw propeller mixes all the ingredients thoroughly. All along its fabrication processing, the product will be subjected to many tests. Here an acid-based neutralization reaction test is performed with a color indicator. The bubble bath has to be colored. A fragrance and a color are added. For in this recipe, the final product will be mauve. Before the filling process, the quality control and microbiology laboratories make sure that the product meets strict quality standards. Now it's on to the next step. This filler can simultaneously fill up to 12 700 milliliter bottles at a steady pace of 50 per minute. The fill level is adjusted electronically. Capping remains to be done. This capper positions and tightens the caps automatically. Urethane rollers apply the precise tightening force. The bottles now pass beneath a sealer via induction, which generates a magnetic field, heating the metal piece placed in the cap. When hot enough, it welds itself onto the neck of the bottle. Another product made here is the peeling mask. The mask is poured into this funnel, whose end is attached to the tube filler pipe. The product descends via gravity. The filler pours the peeling mask into 50 tubes each minute. Then with heat and crimping, the tube end is sealed and the tube heads for packaging. Other products made here, cologne and eau de parfum. The liquid is drawn into the bottle by suction. This rotating filler operates with intermittent vacuum to fill 50 bottles a minute. Bottles are positioned beneath the 16 filling spouts, which seal their opening to allow for the creation of a vacuum, which draws in the product. Now atomizer pumps are inserted. Handling two bottles simultaneously, this machine seals the pump, securing it around the neck of the bottle. We see the white sleeve aligning the pump, while the gray one tightens the pump. Then there are the sprayers. This machine applies the spray stoppers and with a hammer, presses them onto the pumps of the bottles, which are now finished. And one final product, roll-on deodorants. 
This machine fills 115 bottles a minute, handling eight bottles at a time. A filling stem pours the product into the bottle, and here they place the roller ball at 115 per minute. Then the ball is lightly pressed into the cavity in which it turns freely. This plant makes over 1,200 different products and yearly sells 32 million items. <laughs>